Me and Barry met in 1973. 74. 74. At the majestic ballroom in uh, Alden. in Wigan. W Wigan. <laughs> We've been seeing each other now for... Fourteen years. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah. And yet, in all that time, we've never had a proper... Shag. <laughs> a proper sexual union. And he is so crude, Barry, or I shall tell your mother. <laughs> don't, don't tell me, Mum. He's let him down. For Doreen Rowbottom and her boyfriend Barry Barraclough, this is to be the most important day in their long relationship. For tonight, after 14 years of self-imposed celibacy, they're about to indulge together for the very first time in pre-marital sex. <laughs> Although Barry and Doreen have been preparing for weeks, there are still a few last-minute details to attend to. Well, it's up to you, Barry. But I've told you before, I'm not doing it unless you're wearing something. And I've told you, Doreen, I'll be wearing my vest. <laughs> you see, Barry's so naive when it comes to SEX. Not like me. I've read every Barbara Catlin novel there is in the library. I <laughs> told him, I said, Barry, these days, Buying contraceptives, it's like buying fish and chips. Darren, they didn't have any addicts, I've got your cod. No, I'm not going to hear about this. <laughs> don't, don't tell me, Mum. <laughs> Doreen's determined that the most important night of her life will be enhanced by a touch of erotic lingerie. <laughs> what do you reckon, Barry? What about these? <laughs> your mouth out, Barry Barraclough. <laughs> what do you take me for, a loose woman or something? But, but Doreen... Oh, oh, no, Barry. I will certainly not be wearing anything like that. But, but, but Doreen, I, I don't mean for you, I mean for me. <laughs> Barry, I'll tell your mother about you. She already knows. <laughs> Doreen has gone to the hairdressers, leaving Barry alone in the pub, where he sits reflecting on whether he's doing the right thing. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I want to... I want to... Uh, what's the word? I want to poke Doreen. I mean, what if they don't perform right? And, uh, what if I can't arouse Doreen's passion and transport her to a frenzied rapture of overwhelming sexual ecstasy? <laughs> do, 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 you think, do you think she'd tell me more? It's half past six. Barry arrives at Doreen's house to drive her to the hotel, where they've booked a room under the name of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> As expected for this special occasion, Doreen epitomizes all that is beautiful, charming, and sophisticated. What are you gawping at, you nosy bleeders? <laughs> the moment of truth in the Cooling Towers Hotel. A few pints of lager have been consumed in the hotel bar to build up a little Dutch courage, while Barry stuck to his usual half a shandy. <laughs> so, this is it then. How do you both feel? Well, a little bit nervous, naturally. But once I get the bit between my teeth, there'll be no stopping. What, what do you mean, darling? Shut up, stupid, and get in there! What's wrong? S somebody told me mum. Go on. 